Uh, hello there. Hello. Welcome. Now, one moment now. I'm just going to turn my camera off because um, the, uh, the the class video is still load downloading from the previous class that I taught. So it's making the video a little slow at the moment. But I will turn it on as soon as the, the download has finished. OK. All right. Very good. Very good. Good. So, um, yeah. Good. So my name is Duran. I'm from England. It's nice to meet you. Um, today is well, it's uh, Monday, and the time in Taiwan is nine p.m. Good. It is one p.m. in England here, and it is very, very cold today. It is um about thirteen degrees Celsius. So very cold. Very cold. But uh, it's getting a little bit warmer, but um, it still feels very cold here. But I hope uh, it's not too hot in Taiwan, and um, I hope you enjoyed your day. Now, uh, today we have this lesson. It's English for travel. Buying airline tickets is the uh, the topic today. So let's find out all about it, shall we? All right, so let's begin. So here we are. So classroom rules, as you most likely know, the class is lecture based. Oral interaction is limited. So you can send in your queries and questions via the Zoom chat, which is this one up here. And I'll just type a little message and say hi. And that's where you'll see the chat. It says, do not send messages irrelevant to the lesson and remain muted and do not disturb the class. Good. But at times, maybe I can let you unmute your microphone for the conversation parts that we might do. In this lesson, we have the conversation scenario and discussion. So if you want to try that out at any time, you're more than welcome. And uh, I will check with you before. Uh, asking to put your microphone on, right? So we're going to look at the objectives of the lesson and introduction, brainstorm some ideas, scenario and discussion, vocabulary recap. So we'll look at some vocabulary and we'll check the vocabulary too to see our understanding. And there is an optional exercise for the vocabulary. And then we'll wrap up the lesson. Excellent. Good. So let's see. So here we are. So objective and introduction. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to understand and use basic travel related vocabulary and simple phrases when booking airline tickets. Recognize the differences between economy, business class and first class and express your preferences, engage in basic conversation where you discuss seat options and make a choice for your flight booking. Excellent. Good. So lots of great things that we're going to look at in this lesson. OK, that's perfect. So let's find out a little bit more then, shall we? All right. We're doing well, doing well. Lovely. So here we are. So brainstorm, it says, think of words related to buying airline tickets. For example, we've got flight, airline and departure. Good. What can we think of that relate to airline tickets? Well, of course, for the flights, we might have maybe airplane. Now, you can say airplane or you can even say plane, right? It's up to you. You can even say aircraft, right? There's lots of ways that we can say it for the airplane. And of course, for the flight, well, it might be a, a long distance, right? Long distance flight or perhaps a short distance flight.
airline well I suppose like airline could be like company company or companies we could even say because there's more than one airline companies right and then we have well departure it says there so maybe arrival would be the opposite right the antonym and uh well there might be many many services right services on flights so you might have maybe food and drink services perhaps you might have maybe an escort so like someone who helps you to your seats with your bags and so on and that would be another one wouldn't it luggage yes luggage you can say luggage you can say baggage you can even say cases you could say bags you could say suitcases again so many different ways to say it they are all interchangeable right you can use them in uh, in the same ways okay that's cool good and of course in your passport well you might need well in the picture we can see a passport right let's put out on the board so where are we okay passport and you might need a visa yes a visa maybe an arrival arrival stamp yes like that departure stamp and so on right okay very good so now that we got the logistics of airline tickets let's continue and we'll find out some more again now I'll just check the video download see how that's going uh-huh all right not too bad getting there so let's carry on and i'll clear the screen so here we are so dialogue scenario and discussion so we've got the client and the ticket agent now the conversation starts here and then of course after that it continues and then it continues and it continues and then there's another person who comes and it continues and then there's some more discussion for comprehension check now what i'll do is um maybe i will be the uh ticket agent and my friend will be the clients right now there are some questions to consider like where is he departing from what is his destination <clears throat> do you prefer to fly at night or early morning right good so i'll give it a go now imagine someone is walking toward the airline counter all right so let's begin so the client is approaching the airline counter excuse me i'd like to buy a flight ticket from taipei to london of course i can help you with that one way or round trip tickets it will be a round trip ticket my departure date would be on the 10th of october and i'd like to return on the 25th of october perfect let me check the available flights for you okay we have a few options there's a morning flight at 9 a.m and an evening flight at 7 30 p.m which one would you prefer i think i'll go with the morning flight at 9 a.m sure thing can i have your full name please it's john andrew smith thank you mr smith and now i need your passport number and contact details the client provides the passport number and contact details 
Great, Mr. Smith. I've booked your round-trip flight from Taipei to London, departing on October 10th and returning on October 25th at 9 a.m. The total fare is $800. How would you like to pay? I'll pay with my credit card, please. Perfect. Thank you for booking with us, Mr. Smith. Here's your e-ticket and boarding pass. You can collect your physical ticket at the airport on the day of your departure. If you have baggage, check-in will be two hours before takeoff. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a great trip to London. Okay, nice. Good. A nice conversation for that one there. Lovely. No, we did well. Good. So let's see here. Now, um, it said approaching the airline counter. Now, again, as we know, the airline is going to be the, um, the, the, the company, right? The company that you use to fly with. Of course, the ticket is going to be, well, the, uh, I suppose the, um, the, the, the paper, paper that allows, that allows us to pass, right? To pass and board the plane. Oh, excuse me. Good, so we need that one. And of course, we even have um, one way, right? One way round trip ticket. Um, so one way, of course, just means like, well, one direction, right? One, one destination. One destination. So if you was gonna go to tai Taiwan to London or Taiwan to England, it would just be that one place only. Whereas if it's round trip, well, that's different, right? It would be, it would be there and back, right? Okay, that would be your ret return. You can even call it a return, yes? Okay, very good, very good. Now this one here, they said like it would be a round trip. My departure date would be on and the date right okay so remember departure of course is the day it leaves yeah oh what happened there the day it it should say the day it leaves yes okay very good and uh yeah well let's see right so it says where is he departing from well, if we have a look, it says from Taipei, right? There's our key words, yes? So if we highlight those, we know that from is a key word, and it says from Taipei, right? Ah, very good, very good. So from Taipei. Um, What is his destination? Well, we know that it's uh, to London, right? And it says, do you prefer to fly at night or early in the morning? I don't know. What do you prefer? I don't mind either one, right? But um, um, I suppose night flights, you know, are, are good, right? Are good um, because you can sleep, right? You can sleep on, on them. So that's an advantage, isn't it? Yes. Um, for me, when I when I fly, I will fly to Thailand in seven days' time. I'm going to fly in the early afternoon. At three o'clock. So when I travel then, it will be uh, early. And uh, yeah. Let's see here. I'll clear the screen. Now, in this one, they said, what is his destination? Well, we know that his destination already. We answered that and we answered those, right? So let's see. 
Okay, perfect. Good. Right, he's going to fly at 9 a.m., right? Okay, he has to give him his full name, and it was John Andrew Smith. First and last and middle names. Perfect. Now, this one here, it says the total fare is 8 o'clock. Okay, so the fare, of course, is going to be the... um. The money we pay, right? The, the price. The price of the ticket. Mm -hmm. Very good. And, of course, this one here. Well, they process the payments, right? That's what we saw. And in this, car, in this case, he says you've got an e-ticket. So here's your e-ticket. So the e-ticket is going to be the electronic ticket, right? That's that one. Oops, correct my typing. Excellent. And, uh, yeah, well, he says check in when you check in it means to show yes okay so to to show um your passport and let let them know right let them know um you have arrived Okay. Oops. Let me correct my typing here. Okay. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Yes. We're doing well. We're doing well. Perfect. Boarding pass, of course, is our document. Um, it's basically your ticket, really, isn't it? Yes. So the the, the ticket, ticket to uh, to get on on the plane. That's that one there. Good. So lots of good examples. That's for sure. Excellent. Excellent. So. I'll clear the screen again. Now it says, what seat do you prefer? A window or aisle seat? I don't know. Right. Um, but uh, if you sit in the. In the aisle seat, it will be where the walkway is. Right. So if you like that one, the window seat will be by the window and the aisle will be where you can get up and have a little walk. There's your airplane, what I just drew for you here. Good. So the aisle is in the center. Yes. Between the seats. Uh, for me, I prefer the um, I prefer the window seat, right? The window seat is good. You can look out the window. All right, so let's give it a go. So we've got Mr. Elliot and the ticket agent. Now the conversation starts here. It continues and it continues. And then there's a scenario again. All right, so I'll be Mr. Elliot. My friend will be the ticket agent. All right, read with me. I was wondering if I could choose my seat on the plane. Of course you can. But do you have a preference for where you would like to sit? Aisle or window seat? Well, I prefer a window seat. I like to look out of the window during the flight. Window seat it is. Let me check the available options for you. Types on the computer. All right. We have a window seat available. It will be seat 15A. Is that okay with you? Oh, yes, that's perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. I've reserved seat 15A for you. Is there anything else you'd like to know or any other preferences? No, that's all. Thank you for your help. Good. Okay, excellent. All right, so we chose the uh, the seat we wanted. Perfect. It says, do you use a ticket agent or book online? Um, for me, I I just book it online, right? That's what I do. Yeah. Good. So I book online. I feel that it is cheaper if you do it that way. 
Excellent. Now, the discussion from the conversation we read earlier, let's clear the screen. It says, what does Mr. Elliot want to do when he approaches the airline counter? Well, we know that he wants to buy a ticket, right? Buy a ticket. And it says, how does Mr. Elliot express his seat preference? Well, um, he chooses a window seat. And which seat does the ticket agent reserve? Why is it suitable for him? Well, we know it's the window seat, right? Why is it suitable? Uh, if we go back. He says he likes to look out the window. Yeah, that's what he says. There. I like to look out of the window during the flight. So that's why it's suitable for him. Ah, OK, very nice. Very nice. Good. So he likes to. Uh, to look out of the window. And why does Mr. Elliot thank the ticket agent at the end of the conversation? Well, because he is happy, right? is happy with the with his uh, with with the service okay good all right we're doing well yes doing well so i'll clear the screen now i'm just going to stop a second <clears throat> and now basically uh, since um i believe the policy is that I teach for 15 minutes or wait for 15 minutes. If there are no students, I will leave, right? So based on that, I'm going to follow the policy and I will close the classroom. And uh, yeah, there are no students, so I will close it here. All right, all right. And uh, I just turn my, mic, uh, my camera back on um, because I believe that now the video has stopped downloading. Okay. All right. So thank you very much. And uh, yeah, hopefully there will be some students next time. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.